Cease and desist all commerce orders. Cease no. Cease and chattels. Ban on the use of public utilities for non-licensed waste handlers and a federal entry and inspection order. No. Want some coffee? You want some uh, coffee? <laughs> Ray's not wearing his extra goggles. We are not going to be held responsible for whatever happens. No, we won't be. Shut it off. I've quit better jobs than this. I've never seen anything like this before. Whoa, dude. What are you doing, bud? This is Miss Sue Zedmore. He's here about the job. Beautiful. You're hired. Ray Stats, Keith Mackman. Welcome aboard. Hmm. Well, let's roll. Ow. My Transformers. Oh yeah, put in the comment box if you watched that video. Uh, it should be out pretty soon before this, or this should be out pretty soon after it, so let me know if you watched that video. Like usual, there's probably only like seven views on it, but that's okay. As long as there's at least some views, I'm fine. Gotta catch all them ghosts. Oh wow, those are a lot of blue slash purple sides. I know there's some up there. Capture, um... Got him. That's really hard to get those guys. Come over here. Putting up a struggle. There we go. Oh gosh. No fair, the studs are gonna despawn. <laughs> Those ones look ridiculous. And let's roll. I'm so glad the trap follows me around and everything. Makes things so much easier than it just sitting there the whole time not doing anything. Ah. Oh. That was easy. Enough. Just stay puff marshmallow, man. Oh, he looks so happy. Probably a really chill guy. Rule breaker. Once again. Pull. Get him. I feel like the year two red bricks are so much better than the year ones because almost all the year one red bricks, all they do is like have Doctor Who theme music all the time or have this kind of music and like nobody really cares about the music. I'm fine with whatever music it, it, uh, it starts with, to be honest. Like it doesn't really phase me what kind of music it is. You know, and I'm never gonna turn on a. Imagine if you turned on the Doctor Who red brick and the 8-bit music red brick at the same time. That would just be really odd. You know, like maybe with each year they come out with another like time something red brick. That would be awesome. Take them out. Wow, just knocked her out. Can't come, can't follow across a giant break. Oh, crack, crack. That's the word I'm looking for. Didn't mean to destroy the car. It just kind of got in the way. Doing my solemn duty, you know, as a buster made of ghost or a gust. Blah, I can't speak. Oh well. Come on. Uh, there we go. 
Oh, such an amazing red brick. I was actually playing the r the old, old original Lego Batman game. And the red bricks in that are just so different. They have like, instead of there being a fast build red brick, it was like a suit upgrade. You know how like Batman 2 and 3, there are just the Lego Batman games in general are really big on those suits. Which, I guess they're cool and all, but they're kind of weird at the same time to have to use. I like how it is in the third game where you just have them unlocked and you don't have to jump in, like, the suit changer pads. But, like, there were suit upgrades, and one of the suits, when you used it, gave you, um, like, fast building. But, I, I don't know, I didn't, and that game's long. Like, those Lego games used to be really long, <laughs> and now they're kind of short because they focus on free roam. But those old games didn't have free roam, so it made sense why they were so long. Like, now that I think about it, like, I'm glad these LEGO games aren't nearly as long, because the story was always kind of bland and when they didn't talk and everything, so. And even now, like, the story is fun and everything, but I've always been a big free roamer myself. I just thought it was fun. Oh gosh. Pulling them everywhere. Every which way. Get them. Pull. Never saw those. Bam. Go, go, go. Dun 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 And there's gonna be a certain point like right now where there might be like um a stop or a pause in between. Um at this point when I get this open it's gonna be like a an open hatch. Like I'm gonna put my ghost trap in there and it's gonna open the hatch. And usually whenever I go through the door my game will crash, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause so at this moment, we're still playing in the same session. Uh, we haven't gone through the door yet, so... Just wanted to go ahead and do that right then. And then, let's go ahead and go through. Okay, so it worked. Sorry for that little cut, which you probably didn't even notice, to be honest. <laughs> He's wearing a freaking bowl on his head, which doesn't make any sense. And what's up with her dress? Donut! She like possessed or something? He's like a dog. <laughs> I gotta fall. Dana, I think is her name. No fair! They got to make it through the whole thing! <laughs> they didn't even have to do anything. But nope, I'm gonna hit freaking ghosts, man. Come on. Ah get him, got him good. There you go. That was a pretty easy one. And then what's gonna be up? Oh, terror dogs. Heh, <laughs> technically they're ghosts. What is he nailing? <laughs> like the nails will just pop out. And they're gonna use shields. And their shields ain't, they're no match for a magnet. So they're just gonna turn into a big mob of ghosts that I can easily take out. Cause they're so nice, you know? Okay, maybe not a big mob, but a mob of ghosts. It's only three of them. That's all. Now we're on the roof. Did he fall all the way down there just so he could? Oh no, they were turned into terror dogs. He was already kinda acting like a dog anyway. So that doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> Chew your food. I wonder where they got what line and where does it say that in the movie? Actually, in uh, it's Gozer. In the uh, the world, like the Ghostbusters world, if you go to the top of this building, you actually can fight her. And I'm thinking, oh, you should definitely get a gold brick from this. No, they give you one of those stud changer thingies and you have to hit it. And I'm like, come on. It's a boss fight. I want a gold brick for this. 
She's besides her haircut that reminds me of J. Jonah Jameson's haircut. There's really nothing. I mean, she's not really scary. Got her. Got her again. Build. Come on, shoot lightning at me. Took me a while to figure this out, but you gotta have her like shoot lightning. Oh. Hold on. Gotta wait again. That lightning. And then she charges it. It's like, does do, do they have a secret ability to shoot lightning or something that I didn't know about? I don't know. <laughs> so that kind of worked out. But then I was kind of standing behind it because I didn't know what else to do, and then started charging it. I was like, that's interesting. Come alive, terror dogs. What kind of gargoyle thing is that? Like. Maybe at least one more. Oh, there's two more. There's three more. Pow. <gasps> Whoa, so the trap does do it. Okay, I've never actually seen the trap do its tornado attack before until that point. That's pretty cool. Gotcha. Why does the light bother her? I thought she was a ghost, not a vampire. What's next? Whoa. She only had one heart left. So what do we do now? Better go full stream. Let's go. Oh. What? The traveler. What do you mean, choose? We don't understand. Choose. Choose the form of the destructor. I get it. I get it all. Very good. The choice is made. Who chose? Nobody chose anything. Marshmallow Man in the new, like, in the story pack for Ghostbusters 2016 looks freaking scary. Like, it looks creepy. This one, it just kind of looks weird because, I mean, I think it would look cooler if they made it, like, the Lego figure instead of, like, it was made of a bunch of Legos. That kind of looks odd, but... In the 2016 one, it looks like a, le a regular minifigure, just really big, and but the head's really off. But this one, it looks like a something you build in a Lego set. Beyond irrational thought. Oh gosh! Uh, I'm sorry if you heard that little. That's my text message going off, but I'm not checking it right now because this comes first. Oh gosh, he's gonna spit marshmallows at me. Why can't I move? I'm shooting this. Oh my gosh. Shoot the gold truck. Yeah, I didn't do it the first time. Like, I couldn't hit it for some reason. And once it. And he actually does throw it at you. 
and when it went away I had to go through that whole thing over again where he smashes the ground like four times and then shoots the marshmallows and then you have to destroy the marshmallow guys which I guess you have to do again anyway but that's like one extra time and it's just weird I like the marshmallow tracks that it leaves like that would be one reason why I'd want to have the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is just because he leaves those weird tracks. He's gonna shoot his hand. I love when it goes slow motion. You're just like whoa. Dang, that thing destroys. What do you got for us? It's a car. I didn't need the other Ghostbusters. I could do. Go! It looked like you were tickling him. Whoa, I'm melting, melting. Oh my gosh, what the world? Oh no, he's back! And he's really mad! Oh my gosh! Get him! Oh gosh, he's gonna suck us up. Just like Vortex. Uh, get him! Oh, bollocks! Whoosh! I did it. I escaped. Who are you gonna call? Oh, he's doing mortars! Mortar marshmallows or marshmallow mortars! I can do this too! I can spin! Seriously though, that ghost trap is destroying the marshmallow men. It's hilarious. Get the final trap! Blow it up! Yeah! Oh my gosh! He falls. <laughs> he looks so dumb. Let's go! Funny if they actually got the Ecto one up onto the roof. That would be hilarious. Nana, nana, we did it, cause we're awesome. Let's go! Just set the building on fire, why don't ya? Whoa, he turned into a giant marshmallow. It's funny how they make the Lego bricks look sticky, but they're really not. Comes out of I think in the movie he did actually get the thing stuck on his head. I don't I can't remember to be honest. Or the Ghostbusters. Didn't he like try to join the Ghostbusters? <laughs> oh, I just realized he put like a visor on. Dude, that'd be amazing. A giant marshmallow. Oh especially if it's like perfectly roasted. Da -na 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 -na. He slips. Vingman tries to kiss her, and then Slimer just comes out of nowhere. Like, so, dude. Yeah, we did it, Ghostbusters. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who gonna call? Ghostbusters. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like and a comment in the comment box down below. When if you're excited to see Midway Arcade. Because I know I am. Make sure to check in tomorrow or the day after to see that. And then also let me know if you saw the Transformers. And also, I want to know who is your favorite Ghostbusters. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And hope to, uh, bleh, I hope to see you all the next time that I see you. Goodbye.